Hi, my name is Avery, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Audacity to make your recorded voice sound more crisp and clear. So the first thing you want to do in Audacity is open every recording. So this is the recording I've got right here. To listen to it, you guys might have to turn up your volume a little bit because my screen recorder doesn't pick it up as well. So here you go. So like I was saying, you need to leave a second, a few seconds of silence in your recording. The best thing to do is either have it at the very beginning or the end of your recording. And it's okay to have background noises because the whole point of the few seconds of silence is to select it and then remove the background noises from your whole entire audio clip. So what we want to do is select the back, the silent noise, and then you click effects, and then you click noise reduction. And then you want to create a profile from the noise reduction. What that does is it gets the data from this section and then it's able to remove it from the whole thing. So you want to do is control A and select everything. And then you want to apply that profile to everything. And you click OK. So now it's just the noise was reduced from the whole recording. So with everything still selected, we're going to go on to the next um, effect. The next effect is going to be the dynamic range compressor. And what this does is reduces the difference between the loud and quiet sound. And you want to do is just go ahead and apply that. As you can see, it stretches out, so now your voice is going to sound a lot better. And now, next thing we're going to be using is the equalization effect. We're going to have two different boosts in here. The first one is going to be the bass boost, and that'll just boost the bass of the recording. Simple as that. And the next one is going to be the treble boost. And what that's going to do is going to make it so your recording sounds more crisp and clear. And then you go ahead and do that. Then, we're moving on to the very last effect and this is going to be called the normalize effect and what the normalize effect makes it so the recording stays around the same level of volume so you want to do is change this to negative 6 dB and then you click OK and now the recording is going to sound much better Hi, welcome to my channel. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. so as you can see this sounded a lot better than what it did in the very beginning so it's as simple as that. That's how to make it so your voice sounds a lot better using Audacity. But before you go, I want to show you guys one quick last step that'll make this way easier for you. For every single time you want to go on Audacity and do this again, instead of ever instead of clicking on effects every single time and doing every single thing, we can create something what in Audacity is called a chain command. So on a chain command, it makes it so you can do every single one of those at the exact same time. So we can go ahead and make a new one, and we'll just call it Clear Up Voice. So in here, we're going to have to list off all the things that we just did, but every single time we open up Audacity, it'll be saved, and you can just do it again. So you can just use noise reduction, and you click OK. And you go ahead and add every single one of these. Um, the compressor, and OK. And when you get to something that you had to edit, when you get to something you have to edit, like the equalization, you need to click Edit Parameters, and you can change this to the Bass Boost. And then we'll do that one more time with the equalization, and we can edit the parameters and change it to the treble boost. And then we're going to apply that one. And now we're going to add the very last one of the normalize. And then edit parameters, and make sure that's a negative 6 still. We're going to click and then done. And then now we're going to want to save this. So now it's saved. And then if you want to apply it, so we're going to go back and redo everything. So this is original. And then you can highlight everything and you can click Apply Chains. And now you have it right here. And apply to current project. And boom, it's done. So it's as simple as that. So every time you have a new recording, go back and apply that new chain. And it'll get it done for you in a matter of seconds. Um, thanks for you guys for watching again. Have a great day and feel free to come back 